Hello, welcome back to Martin's Games, and today I've got another gaming pickup for you. So, this is all the games I picked up in last month, which was September. It's now October. I nearly forget. So yeah, uh, these are all the games I picked up in that month, and I picked up about thirty games last month. I didn't spend that much. There's two brand new games that I got, which obviously cost quite a bit, but the rest of them cost in total about thirty, forty pounds for about twenty-eight games. Nearly 30 games, I spent £28. Obviously, the, I'll start with the two new games I got. Actually, no, I'll start off with digital ones I got. So I got Donut County um, on the Switch, which is like a game where you are a hole and you just suck things in, which is pretty cool. And I also got uh, Space Wolf, which is a Games Workshop Space uh, Space Marine. A Games Workshop Warhammer 40,000 game on the Switch. I think I paid like £8 for it, £7, maybe £6. I can't remember. But I had a voucher, so it didn't actually cost me any money. Uh, but yeah, I then found out that's actually a mobile port of a game, which you can get free on iPhone. So, I mean, it was it's quite fun. I quite liked it. I haven't played much of it, but yeah, there are two digital games I got this month. I don't think I've got any more, except from the PS Plus games, but I don't count them because I didn't actually pay for them. So, moving on to the brand new games I got this month. Uh, of course, first of all is Super Mario, All uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Nintendo Switch. Great game, it's got Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy all in one game on Nintendo Switch. This is a limited run, um, so that's why I got it, because it's just basically three emulated ports of the games. Looks slightly better, but there's nothing new on with this game. I have all three of them on the original systems themselves, uh, so I didn't need to buy this, but as a collector, I did. So yeah, uh, you want to see the Let's Plays of each one of the games, I've got a Let's Play on my channel. Uh, I might link it in the description, but I sure will. I'll link them in the description so you can check them out. Um, but yeah, that's Super Mario 3D All Stars on Nintendo Switch. So moving on to PS4, I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. As you've seen on my channel, quite a lot of videos on this game. This game is awesome. If you're a big fan of Tony Hawk's games, um, the original ones on the PlayStation or PS2 era, basically anything up to American Wasteland, if you're a fan of their games, you will love this game. I absolutely love it. It's probably my favourite game this year. Um, maybe not. I mean, I'm now playing Crash Bandicoot 4 at the moment, so... I don't know. It's, it's close between them two games. Like, this year has been awesome for games. Like, all the Mario games and Tony Hawk's and Crash Bandicoot. So, yeah, this is an awesome game. Um, I didn't get the limited edition with the skateboard deck uh, because I didn't have the money as I was getting that game as well. If you want to see the unboxing of that, go check out my friend Sam, Hardcore Gamer. Uh, he has an unboxing of the limited edition with the skateboard deck. I'll link that in the description down below as well. So go check that out. Then, this is my, my dad brought a massive um, haul of like DVDs and games from an auction. And I went over to his house and I literally snagged about 10, 15 games off him. This is one of them. So this was uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Steelbook Edition. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that's the only PS4 game I got from that haul. But some of these games are from that haul and they're pretty good. A lot of them are Call of Duty games, but I don't have a lot of them because I don't normally buy them. So that's cool to have in my collection. So this is a random PC game I got. Basically, my dad tried to sell it um, at CEX. And it's, it says SimCity 3000 UK edition, but then it's got SimCity 4 inside. Uh, I don't play many PC games, so I don't know. I might give that away somewhere at work. But yeah, um, PC game, I don't play them. So moving on to PS3, I got Ratchet and Clank, um, A Cracking Time. I don't think I have this one. I've got the Pirate one. I can't think what it's called. Something to do with booty. Uh, yeah, I think I have all the Ratchet and Clank games now. Because I've got the Trilogy on PS3, and I've got the other PS3 game, and I've got the PS4 game. I might be some, there might be some Ratchet and Clank games I'm missing, but I've really, really played the PS4 game. I've got all the others, I just haven't played them yet, and I probably will like them, because it's my kind of game. And then I got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which is the third game in the series, I believe. Uh, haven't played it, I'm not a massive fan of Assassin's Creed games. Uh, it's a platinum edition, and it has the right game in there. But yeah, I will give Assassin's Creed games a chance one day. Uh, I just haven't played it, and I will play it eventually. So another PS3 game I got was FIFA Street. This was the remake of the FIFA Street games. Um, the reason I brought this, I don't think this was actually... I don't know it was. This was in the um, the hall my dad got. 
Um, and I've already got first FIFA Street on PS2. So I might actually get the whole collection of FIFA Street games. I did like the first two games. This one, I don't think is very good. But I wanted it for my collection. So yeah, FIFA Street. Moving back to Call of Duty games. We've got Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS3. It's another Call of Duty game. Then also got Call of Duty World of War. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 as well. Um, checking the right games in there. They're both right games. Both PS3. Again, Call of Duty games. I will play them eventually. Then they've got Thingstar Ava. I don't know why. I think that was in the hall. I was just lying. You got it. I think it was like worth like one pence or something. So yeah. Thingstar Ava. Uh, FIFA 2009. Again, I think that was worth nothing. So my dad just gave me it. Then going back to uh, FIFA Street games, this is FIFA Street 3. This wasn't in the hall, this was um, from CEX, I was received £2. Um, this is the third game in the series, um, after the first two on PS2. I don't think this one was very good either, it's very cartoony. But again, I wanted to complete the FIFA Street collection. Now this one is actually a PS3 game, so because the... Black Ops 3 came in the steel books. This was a spare case, and there was Black Ops, the first Black Ops game for PS3, like just without a case. So I stuck it in this one. A little bit annoying, but I do have the first Black Ops game as well. So moving on to Xbox 360, I got Prince of Persia. Now this was the new remake one after the original trilogy on PS2, I believe. Uh, meant to be pretty good, and also I believe they're remaking this game. I brought this for two pounds. Um, it's meant to be pretty good, so I will give this a go. I do like Prince of Persia games. Then I got Homefront uh, for the 360 as well. I don't know much about the game. Um, it's just like two pound fifty, two pound sixty. I think it's meant to be okay. Again, I think it's in a charity shop, but I'll play it one day. Then moving on to the original Xbox. I got. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare, Warfighter. Uh, I've never replayed really the Ghost Recon games before, but it's original really Xbox games, so they're quite cheap, like 50p this cost me. So yeah, I picked that up. And then I got Project, what's it, Project, what's this game called? Project Gotham Racing 2, of course it is. Um, I don't have this game again, 50p. I think I did like a five pound CEX hunt, and see how many games I can get for five pounds. That's why some of these are so cheap, but again, I don't have this in my collection, so I added to it. So moving to Wii, I got Wacky Racers uh, Crash and Dash. Um, I love the Wacky Racers like, franchise of the TV series. Um, and I've got a PS1 Wacky Racers game, which I did do a Let's Play, I think, on my channel. Um, so I might link it if I can find it. If not, don't worry about it. But yeah, I love that game. So I thought I'd pick up a Wii version, because it's a racing game on Wii, and they're normally quite good. So I'll have to give it a go one day. So under GameCube and I got a Die Hard Vendetta. This cost me £2 for the GameCube. Um, I think I always wanted this game as a kid. I remember asking it for Christmas once. I never got it. So now I finally have it and I will give it a go. I love the Die Hard game on PS1. The trilogy one. Even though it's not very good. I still loved it. and love the film. So I will give that a go one day. So moving on to 3DS. And the first one is this. Uh, 208 games in one. I've done a... No. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, 208 games in one. I've done a quick video on this. It's got Pokemon stuff, so I'll link that in definitely in the description and the icons to check that out for my review of this game. And then I've got Draw to Life SpongeBob SquarePants Edition. I didn't know this existed. Um, never played a Draw to Life game, and I'm sure I'll give it a go one day, maybe? Now this one is a spare case, but it's got the Madagascar game in there, if you can see that. Um, it's Madagascar in there. Yeah, again, didn't have a case, so I stuck it in this. Um, I'll probably put my loose stuff anyway. So, moving on to PS2, I've got a few PS2 games. So I've got Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, this was like £3.60, which I thought was quite a good price for a Final Fantasy game. Um, it seems to be complete. So yeah, 
That was from Charity Shop. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, next up, I have Army Man Surge's War. I loved the Army Man games as a kid growing up. I haven't played them recently, so I don't know if they hold up as they do. But I love playing them. For £4.50 at 4 is quite expensive. But I don't see them very often. So I had to pick it up. And then I got Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, I'm actually, I do like the Medal of Honor games, the original ones. So I will give this a go if one day. I think I played a demo as a kid and I quite liked it. And then uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Um, I've heard okay things about this. I think the newest, is it Ultimate Alliance 3 on Switch at the moment? Maybe, but I mean, this seems okay. I will give it a go. It's got like all the Marvel characters in it, so it's pretty cool. Now moving back to FIFA Street, so here is FIFA Street 2 for the PS2. This was in one of my dad's halls. It's complete. Um, and yeah, I've already got the first game, and as you saw, I got the third game and the PS3 remake. So I now have the full FIFA Street collection, which is pretty cool. I, I enjoyed the games, they're quite fun. Last thing on PS2 is Wipeout Fusion. This cost me a pound, and again, it's complete. And I'm a big fan of the Wipeout games, so the one on PS4 is awesome, especially with VR. So I will give this a go. I, I, I get confused what ones are what, but I mean, I got this. And moving on to PS1, this is the final console I brought for. So we've got uh, MTV Sports Snowboarding. It's a snowboarding game on PS1. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine or absolutely awful because some games on PS1 are not like great. And then the very last game I got last month uh, was Army Men Surge's Heroes. Again, another Army Men game. I got it from the same place I got the PS2 one. This was £4.50. Again, quite expensive, but it's a PS1 game. It's not complete, it's missing the booklet. But you don't see PS1 games that often anymore. So I'm a big fan of the Iron Man games, so I had to pick it up. So there are all of my pickups for September. I need to the month again. I had a lot of games. Next month is, so this month now, October, is my birthday month, so I am not going to buy as many games as I think I want to, because I'm going to wait to see what I get for my birthday. There is a few games I've already brought, which you've probably seen on my channel already. But yeah, if you like the video, please get a thumbs up. New channel, one subscribe. Bye.